All right, well, I got on the scale this morning. It was the same as yesterday, even though I did a great job, got a bunch of points, um, did some activity, cleaning, homework help, all these things. So this is kind of the part where you just keep going and you stick with the program because if you do all the right things sooner or later, the number will change. What I did want to talk about today is how important sleep is. And part of the problem that I'm struggling with right now is that my sleep isn't all that great. Um, I just had knee surgery, so I can't sleep on the side that I normally sleep on because it doesn't feel great. So what happens is I wake up, I don't know, <laughs> eight times every night whenever I've fallen asleep on one side and then in my sleep, you know, switch over to the other side and then I wake up again. So, um, what I got to do is take some steps to figure out a way to improve my sleep because I think that that will help. Again, sleep is so important, makes everything easier if you've had a decent night's sleep. So I think what I need to do now is stop, <laughs> stop looking at my phone after 8 p.m. or my iPad or whatever, even watching TV um, and just read some of the books that I have and that I wanted to read for a long time. So I'm gonna do that and um, hopefully um, I'll sleep better tonight. Um, you know, it does go back to the cortisol level because if you haven't slept well, kind of all your hormones are a little bit out of whack and everything seems hard. So I think everybody instinctively knows that. We just know the science behind why it is now. And when you're tired, you're looking for ways to cope and get through the day through with you know, extra caffeine, um, carbs, sugar, things like that. So the more sleep you get, the better, better resiliency you have for the next day. So that's what I'm going to try to do tonight. Um, I, I did walk more this morning. So I walked for about 20 minutes this morning, which again is a huge deal for me since I just had knee surgery. So I'm making advances on my ability to do things. I am going to lift some weights today because big muscles burn more calories sitting on the couch than little muscles, um, or even in tone muscles, whatever you want to say. And then I'm going to focus on getting a really good night's sleep tonight. And hopefully then tomorrow, the scale may have good news for me, but at least it wasn't bad news this morning. It just wasn't good news. And again, it has to be the seven day moving average. You can't freak out over one or two days of things either going the wrong direction or just staying stuck. So that's what I know. Talk to you tomorrow.